All right, Evan, thank you so much. So there's probably no group of people that pay closer attention to weather than farmers. Ryan Laughlin found out that was the case in Montoya's apple orchard today. He has why colder temps may actually help in some ways. Here at Montoya's Orchard, they've had a surprisingly successful first day where people can pick their own apples. But I'm a sweaty mess, and we know there's going to be some big changes in the weather. Ivan said so, and they're planning for the same here. The conversations at Montoya's farm. Well, farmers are always checking the weather. Are probably the same at most farms across New Mexico. I joke that my dad will tell me what the weather is every five minutes if I don't hush him down. Yeah, because you never know what's going on. Lately, it's just been so darn hot that um, I can't believe when is it finally going to cool off. Pat Montoya is Victoria's dad, and he knows change is coming. But I think I'm going to be in trouble this next couple of days. If temperatures get too cold north of Espanola, these are coming in real good. They start to worry about the veggies in the garden, but they're not expecting below freezing temperatures to be a problem this week. When it comes to the orchard, the dropping mercury isn't all that bad. Honestly, for my apples will be great because once the cold weather comes in and zaps the apples, the sugars in them tend to crystallize and they get sweeter. Victoria says this year they have more apples than they know what to do with. And colder days are not only good for the apples, but are welcomed by the apple pickers. I would prefer to be here out in the cold. <laughs> it's a little hot. So. Getting ready for the cold snap here in Velarde. Ryan Laughlin, KOB4.